are these designed to, to wall mount or do they if they support them on the ground? Or? They, so let's say for a three battery system, then for a three battery system, by using the indoor battery yeah. versus the outdoor, you're saving. Uh, in addition to the cost savings, are, are we losing any weight with the indoor model? Yeah. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming back to you from Inner Solar North America, which is the big solar conference here in San Diego. This morning I'm joined by James Showalter. He's the CEO and founder at EG4. And we're looking at the new EG4 Power Pro battery. Uh, James, it's good to see you. Thanks for spending some more time with us. Absolutely, Joe. Uh, really excited to have you here. So, so James, you know, we're in, we're in Southern California now and it seems everything particularly in California, but everything now is going towards batteries with solar, yes. you know, solar plus storage. So tell us about the EG4 Power Pro battery. Yeah, the EG4 Power Pro battery, it's a you know, full capacity, 14.3 kilowatt hour module, very common size in the industry, uh, with a lot of folks going a little higher, and we probably will too. Um, but uh, it's a DC only battery. We really committed to keeping the cost of kilowatt hour expansion of additional storage expansion uh, for systems that need that on day one or want to be able to upgrade in the future if they buy like an EV or something else that they need to need to manage the time for. Um, you know, we're really committed to keeping that cost just centralized on just the battery. So um, the thing that's really unique about it uh, in, in the market is, is it's very there's re really not that many players that have even considered a DC only solution. So it's a 10 year warranty battery. It's got uh, over 8,000 cycles on it. So it should last towards uh, 20 years. Uh, uh, and, and you know, I think everything inside of it is a IP65 rated. Uh, and it's, a, it's the base module that drives our off grid system value. So uh, people can install uh, without, without a, a more complex busing system, they can install about uh, five units, uh, which is uh, almost 75 kilowatt hours on the side of their house uh, with just a basic battery and uh, our conduit box system. Okay, and so are these, are these designed to, to wall mount or do they, if they support them on the ground? Or? They're, they, they're designed to wall mount. They are set up with some feet on the ground to where you can do that as well. Uh, but uh, most people are wall mounting them and uh, then we've got a bracketing and conduit box system that you know allows you to tie in our inverter system completely seamlessly so you don't have to drive to the wire store to do anything special. We're completely integrated manufacturer, so our inverter looks like it grew on the battery and vice versa. And our conduit box system kind of creates that, that easy install where you're, you've got a one-stop solution. That's great. I'm going to have some more questions for you about the conduit box, but let's talk about the battery first. So you said 14 kilowatt hours of storage? Yes, a little 14, yes. Okay, so for most homes, I think most homes are probably going to want two batteries for a whole house backup, or at least yes. if I were designing, I would recommend go with two batteries mm -hmm. for an average size home. What kind of cost would you be looking at for that? Well, the single battery module is about, for installer price, is about $3,000, you know, give or take a, a little bit, but uh, the retail is about $3,600. And um, so two batteries, 6000 bucks, Joe. And uh, that's, that's, a, that's a, an incredible price point in the industry for 30 kilowatt hours. And to your point, uh, you know, I'm typically seeing two multiples uh, in terms of battery sizing for a really properly designed system, about two and a half kilowatt hours of battery storage per kilowatt of solar. Or okay. a, about um, about 60% of your daytime usage you need to have as a battery bank. So those two checks and balances. If you're getting uh, if you're getting quoted less kilowatt hours, then you're not really getting quoted power independence. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Now let's talk about um, operating conditions. This is outdoor rated, correct? Yes, the, out, the IP65 waterproof, ready to go. Okay, in terms of temperature range, what sort of the healthy temperature range where you could use So we can right? operate down to negative 20. It has heating pads inside of it. Of course, those will drive self-discharge. So think about that accordingly. If you get cold snaps two or three weeks out of the year, put it wherever you want. But if you have like months long cold periods under 32, then think about putting it in a medium controlled zone like a, like a garage or a shop. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, and of course, this is a 48 volt nominal, right? Yeah, 48 volt nominal. Uh, uh, as lithium's like 51.2, but yeah, 48. Okay. okay, okay. All right, let, let's talk about the conduit box then. So, how does this help if you're going to interface the battery to, let's say, the Flex Boss inverter here? Well, yeah, I, actually, this came from like our first like tour on the job site with our original inverters. Everybody was going to the wire store to buy a chase, which is like hundreds of dollars, and then uh, having to drill out of the hole. So we said, that, that, that's got to stop. So the conduit box is designed for a perfect pattern match to the bottom of the inverter and uh, a perfect pattern match to the top of the battery. So the conduit box just puts it all together. I, we try to keep this price super honest. I think like the, the individual piece is under $100 
It saves you at least an hour of your time drilling out and, and customizing it. And I think you get 150 bucks of soft costs there. So makes the system easier for electricians and do-it-yourselfers. Nobody has to kind of self-fabricate on the site. I mean, now so, what if what if what if we're going to connect multiple batteries though? So we've actually the standard single conduit box has a bolt pattern that allows you to just use a two-inch conduit to connect multiple single packs, and a lot of guys just do that. But we wanted some pe people were wanting some more elegant solutions for a standard two-battery system. So we've got uh, a couple other solutions in the mix at this show. Uh, the two-battery wide solution, which is I think this system looks really, uh, really nice compared to if it was uh, two boxes with a pipe. Uh, and uh, it's a single piece that's actually uh, less than double the cost of the, 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 the two individual boxes. So, you know, I'm, I'm a cost shark, so that, that, that's exciting to me. Uh, and then we also have a solution that's focused on wall space that's actually double deep on the other side of this booth. Okay, well, yeah, well, let's, let's take a look at that. It's right around here, Joe. Okay, James, so what, what are we looking at here with this tandem configuration? Yeah, the double deep box, uh, we open it up, same kind of door configuration, but it's got, a, it's got holes here for two batteries. Uh, we've got a mounting bracket that extends out to hold the second battery. Uh, the one thing that's like incorrect on this, this is our first time we displayed it, we've got an uh, extended mounting bracket for the inverter, and as you can see these punch outs and the okay. set screws, the inverter just plants onto that and set screws onto it. So we'll have that mounting bracket out here holding the inverter, and it'll look like a, a, a continuous unit. So uh, just, like the, just like the single deep ones. And, and, and again, you know, I think this will actually be even better cost than the double wide. The double deep is just less material uh, and easier, easier for us to make. James, is, is there a limit to how many power pro batteries you can connect to a single inverter? Well, um, actually, we can, we've had people do 64 batteries in a system, but after about five batteries, after the 75 kilowatt hour uh, range uh, on, on a single inverter, you have to use a busing system. If you're using multiple inverters, you can actually go beyond that and basically have different clusters as long as you spread the inverters out among the two different clusters of batteries. We also are the first hybrid inverter company to have AC paralleling of the battery. So you could actually have a battery bank in a, one location, let's just say in your garage, and another one, let's just say in a shop behind your house, and those two battery banks can parallel via AC power on the grid boss. So they will allocate the demand the house uses to whichever battery bank has, volt, has a state of charge. It's a really exciting opportunity there as well. Great, great. Well, James, anything else that the audience should know about the PowerPro battery? Um, it is the most solid foundation for you to be able to afford energy independence. Uh, kilowatt hours is the game. Don't let anyone tell you different. And uh, EG Force platform is just focused on you getting a lot more raw energy storage for your money. More is more. And uh, this platform is something that really delivers that. So James, I know one of the challenges that installers are dealing with is as these battery sizes get larger, you know, the, the batteries are physically getting larger and heavier. So what are some of the things that you've done to help installers you know, manage, that, manage that complexity on site? Well, Joe, a, a lot. Um, you know, weight's a key aspect of, of installing these uh, units. I mean, uh, but the 300 pound battery is essential to getting the best value per kilowatt hour, which is what our customers are looking for. So um, each battery has a lift rope in the back. I, I don't think I can pull one out here, but there's actually a lift rope to hold it and uh, side handles. Uh, so a two man lift uh, approach. Uh, but we have guys that they're having code restrictions where they like to get them three feet off the ground. Uh, and uh, they want to try to do one man install. So uh, what we did was we created a lift dolly with a drill power. Um, there's a lot of people doing that in the heavy battery space. Um, shockingly, they're not willing to share their homework, so we had to make our own dolly. It's a, a well-designed, uh, sturdy unit that can lift uh, easily multiple times the weight of the battery. And uh, you just use a half inch drill, run it, and uh, we'll show some install videos, I think at some point, it's just how this all works out. We can't really show in the show environment, but we'd love to share that as well. But we think this is another tool in the toolbox. The lift rope's a great tool. Some people uh, have you know, lift equipment on their farm, et cetera. They're using that or uh, just a lot of different options there. And of course, the boss box doesn't have the lift problem. So we're going after the lift problem as far as hard as we can. Obviously, the, the, uh, the dolly that we're rolling out with in the next month is going to be really exciting for that so. Great, great. We're looking at the EG4 Indoor Power Pro battery. So James, uh, 
lot, seen a lot of batteries at the show this yes. week, right? Battery storage is the thing, right? Yes. Especially here in California. If you're doing solar, you're, you're pretty much doing solar with battery storage every time now. Yes. Um, tell us about EG4's battery. I know you guys have a reputation of always having a very cost competitive, great value battery. Yeah. How does the indoor battery differ from the Power Pro that we looked at earlier? Well, they're both they're both Power Pro batteries, so it's the indoor model. It's, uh, it's uh, just an indoor case with still heated, uh, same lifespan, same cells, same controls, exact same components, but we realized that we could deliver a $300 less price point for, for people uh, with the indoor version. And we thought, you know, there are so many people that are gonna buy two, three, four batteries, and that's somewhere between $600 to $1,200 of cost savings uh, for, for a case they don't need if they're putting it inside. So it was just another thing we could do to drive up uh, affordability for, uh, for homeowners and uh, profitability for installers. So uh, this is actually, it's, it may be surprising, but we literally, and probably because of our, our big position in off-grid as well with the XP series inverters, we literally sell more of these indoor wall mounts than the outdoors, just slightly. Because a lot of EPCs are like, if I'm gonna put three batteries in a, in a garage, why am I gonna waste 900 bucks? That's real money. And, and uh, I'll help my customer afford more. So uh, again, exact same core components, focusing on delivery method, focusing on project costs. So that's what this is. Anybody who stocks our outdoor will stock our indoor. And if you're doing something inside, go ahead and save some money. So, but you're not sacrificing anything capacity-wise. So you're still, you're still at what, 14 kilowatt hours? 14.3 kilowatt hours. It, there is nothing inside of this that is different than the outdoor battery. It is literally the same thing. We just realized you don't need a fancy case when you're going indoors. So let's give you the option of choosing what you want and only spending the money that you're looking for. Makes sense, makes sense. And I know you're very cost conscious and I think you all are very much committed to making sure that, that there's great value options out there yeah. for consumers and for installers as well. Um, you know, you, you talk about scalable or yes. the scaled cost per kilowatt hour of the installation. So let's say for a three battery system, then for a three battery system, by using the indoor battery yeah. versus the outdoor, you're saving about nine hundred dollars. It's three hundred bucks a piece. So okay. nine hundred dollars is real money, and and uh, you know we wanted to, to drive our, our innovation there. And I think it's another example of how we actually people ask us, you know, how are you cheaper? Well, we really just think about the application. Uh, and, and for here, I mean, it's clear what I did. I didn't change a single thing from my Power Pro battery. I just gave you the case you actually needed versus uh, the extra one you don't need outside. So uh, we're very uh, open and transparent about that stuff. And uh, I do think there are cost down opportunities in this industry if you really pay attention to who the end user is and what their project looks like. Project focus is gonna help us make solar more affordable for everybody, Joe. Yeah, and it's, it's clear talking to you, James, that you spend a lot of time talking to installers that are, that are having to deal with this hands-on yeah. in, in the field and what they have to deal with. We're not just selling the specs on a piece of paper. Yeah. Uh, in addition to the cost savings, are, are we losing any weight with the indoor model? Yeah, about about 15 pounds. So, 15 pounds, okay. you know, most people's backs are happy about that. Yeah, that adds up too. <laughs> That's true, and uh, to, to your point, uh, you know, we're out in the field all the time. EG4 has an installer support team that literally goes out and helps on the first two to three jobs uh, and gets your installer to a one day installation efficiency. Uh, so so we, we support our channel. And the, the back end of that is I listen, I go have beers with all those guys. I listen to everything that's going on. I go to their job sites sometimes and I start thinking about how we can cut costs in the future by really keeping the project in focus. That's great. It's really has, has come through talking to you today. Um, you know, because again, James, I think a lot of folks really need to look at this as it's a, it's a partnership between the equipment manufacturer and the installers that are going to be yes. offering it. And uh, I know in the past, EG4 has had a kind of a reputation more of an off-grid brand, but yes. I think now we're seeing more and more of the higher production solar installers, you know, offer the EG4 solution as a professionally installed solution that, that they're willing to back with a warranty. Yeah, I think that just comes down to EG4's core story. Power independence is our DNA. We're really passionate about, about everybody being able to be able to become power independent, and our job is to innovate and make that possible. And then I just think our, our, our origin, you know, myself running an installation company for five years, uh, and, and then a family member taking that over and continuing to run it today, uh, you know, very few hardware companies today that were founded by installers like EG4, instead, uh, they're focused on engineering. and. Uh, Again, there's so much money on the table when you actually understand your project and who's going to install it, and then you can absolutely support people much easier. Great. Well, James, anything else the audience should know about the PowerPro indoor version? Really nothing. It's just 
If you know anything about the outdoor version, uh, it's just a way to save money on the indoor uh, on an indoor install. Yep. Um, and it's just an example of our commitment to you guys making everybody afford solar, getting more people to say yes on doing a solar install. Great, so 300 bucks cheaper, 15 pounds lighter, same 48 volt lithium iron phosphate, 14 kilowatt hour, slightly higher than 14 kilowatt hour capacity battery. Uh, well folks, this has been a chat with James Showalter. He's the CEO and founder at EG4 Electronics. Um, by the way, if you get good value from the videos like this that you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. I know you all have been asking me to do more content about EG4's products. We're going to do a lot more content that will be coming out this year. Uh, so if you want to stay up to date with all of that, subscribing to the channel is the best way to uh, make sure that those new videos come up on your recommended feed. But that does it for today. James, thanks for spending so much time with thanks, us. Thanks, Joe. And thank you all for spending some more time on the channel. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.